Hey YouTube, uh, today on the show we'll be talking about um, the ups and downs of CO2 and HPA. CO2 versus HPA. Um, we'll talk, yeah, we'll talk about ups and downs, um, just the positives, negatives, um, the goods and bads, just uh, uh, everything. Well, what I would recommend, what you should, what you should run in your gun, um, and uh, yeah, we'll start, we'll start off with the easy gas, which is CO2. Uh, CO2 is currently the most commonly used. A propellant in paintball today. Uh, it's most of the people that you should, you will see running CO2 on their guns own a gun such as this. This is a Titman. Um, you know, they, all, most people that run CO2 on their guns will own you know low end mechanicals uh, or pumps such as this Titman, Spiders, Piranhas, uh, you know, all that stuff. Just, just all mechanicals. Uh, probably the reason why is because CO2 is cheap. Um, you can find it anywhere. Um, it's, it's very compatible. Um, with, it's compatible with most guns. Um, and plus, it, you, you, as I said, you can find it anywhere. Um, you, you know, you can fill your tank up at Sports Authority. Uh, you can find it anywhere. Um, but the bad, bad things about CO2, um, it is a really dirty gas. It's filthy. Uh, it was never meant to be used to propel a paintball. It was never meant to be put into the paintball gun. Um, so, but uh, so it caught. It's, as I said, it's filthy. It can uh, ruin your internals. It uh, it freezes in cold weather. Um, it causes velocity spikes, which is when you're carrying your gun in the downward position, and um, liquid CO2 uh, leaks in your gun, uh, leaks into the chamber, and it just um, spikes your velocity up to um, you know th uh, 300, 350 uh, FPS, and that's just really bad, and it's a pain. To uh, to fix, uh, you know, you can spend five minutes of the chronograph. This is a real big pain. So, but um, a gun running on HPA uh, will last twice as long as a gun running on CO2. Uh, it's just a lot cleaner. But if you can't afford an HPA tank, you know, you're just new, you know, you can't afford it, or it's you know, it's not in your budget, or if it's or at your local field, it's the only thing available, uh, or the only thing you can find then I would definitely recommend getting an anti-siphon system for your, your CO2 tank. Or buy a CO2 tank with the anti-siphon system installed. The anti-siphon system will um, help get rid of all of the dirt and uh, crap that is, tra is entering your gun. Um, plus, if you own a Titman, uh, you know, an A5 or a 98, then I definitely recommend getting an expansion chamber, which is just a, si a simple, um, uh, it's just a simple mechanism that you can put inside your gun, and it acts as a gas regulator to, um, to help also help clear out uh, all, all dirt and garbage. Um, so uh, yeah, but with both those things, the anti-siphon system and the um, the expansion chamber, you should be, it should greatly increase uh, your gun's performance running on CO2. Should, those are def definitely a must if you have a tip in. Uh, now let's talk about. Um, High end, or uh, let's talk about HPA. The mo most of the people that you will uh, see using HPA are, you know, pros, um, you know, experienced paintball players, uh, people with high end guns, uh, you know, such as this. This is a Shocker. This is six hundred dollars. You know, this is an iPod Touch. This is four hundred fifty dollars. This is an uh, you know, Eclipse Ego. This is seven hundred fifty dollars. Um, so uh, this will all all these uh, will be using. HPA, you will almost never see these guns running on CO2. The reason why, I pretty much think it's it's all it all stands for itself. Uh, you will not wanting to be running a uh, a uh, filthy, dirty gas through uh, you know a 400, 500 plus dollar gun. It's just out of the question. You, it's ludicrous. You would never want to do that. Uh, it would just completely ruin your gun. Um, so so definitely. If, if, if you're new to owning a, um, a high-end gun then, and you want to run on CO2, then just forget about it. You're not, it's not going to happen. You will, you, you will just completely ruin your gun after a year. Uh, so, so what I would definitely recommend is getting an HPA tank. I have two here. These, this is a 3000 PSI, this is 6845. Uh, this is a Steely, this is a carbon fiber. This holds about five, uh, 500 shots. This holds about 1,000 shots. They're both pure energy, both great tanks for the price. However, both these tanks are significantly more expensive than CO2. 
This, which has like the amount of, which ha carries the same amount of shots as a nine ounce, is uh, this is around seventy dollars. This, which carries the same same amount of shots as a twenty ounce, is one hundred and fifty dollars. So even though you can get the same amount of shots out of a CO two um, tank for twenty dollars, um, and this is one hundred fifty dollars, it's definitely worth it. Okay, um, it's uh, it's just it's a lot cleaner. Uh, your gun will last a lot longer. No velocity spikes. It's just it's just definitely you need to get it. Uh, if you have a shocker, just a specific gun, it says in the manual that you can run it on HPA or anti-siphon CO2. Don't risk it. Just spend the extra buck and get uh, an HPA tank for you know 120 to 200 dollars. You'll definitely be way more satisfied, and it'll definitely increase the performance of your gun. Plus, um, now comes the question: What HPA tank should I buy? Should I buy low pressure or high pressure? Um, I would definitely say high pressure. Unless you have an Angel, which run on low pressure, then get a high pressure tank, okay? Angels are like the only guns that run on low pressure. They have this mechanism in the gun, and it just, it's just, and then they it just kind of screwed everything up. But um, then, but high pressure air tanks just are compatible with everything. It's compatible with this. It's compatible with this. It's compatible with this. It's compatible with this. It's compatible with everything here. It's compatible with all my guns. Most of the time, I don't even own a CO2 tank. That's how much I don't like it. So, but so as you can tell, I would definitely recommend uh, a high pressure HPA tank over CO2 any day. Just end of story. It's a lot better for your gun. You'll be 100% more satisfied. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out my other videos.